In this video, let's see how to use a trained Oracle machine learning model that exists in your Oracle ADW instance or Oracle database and use it within OAC to score your own datasets. Here is a sample airlines dataset that is sourcing from an Oracle ADW database. This dataset has information about upcoming flights with details about the aircraft model, aircraft type, origin and destination airports, weather condition at the origin and destination and so on. Now I want to classify these up upcoming flights into a risk bucket. Risk of arriving very late, arriving with a little delay or arriving on time. Now I know the data scientist in my organization has trained an ML model in the database to predict this risk bucket. Let's see how to use that model within OAC to score my upcoming flights data. As a first step, I will register that ML model in OAC. Now here I see all the connections that are based on ADW or our Oracle database being listed. Now I pick the ADW connection where I know the model exists. When I click on a connection, it lists all the ML models in that database that I have access to. I click on this particular model and I get to see all the model details. I see the model class, algorithm used to build the model, what is the target it is predicting. So in this case, it's predicting arrival delay bins. I click on input columns and see what are all the input columns that the model is trained on, what are the outputs from this model and the model parameters. Once I go through all these details and I want to register this model in OAC, so I give it a model name and description and click on register. So now the model is registered in OAC and available for scoring my datasets. When I click on the ML tab, I see the model that I just registered. I can inspect the model at any point and look at all details pertaining to the model. Using the access tab, I can permission the model and allow only select users to have access to the model and use it for scoring. Now that I have this model registered, let me use it to score my dataset. Let me begin by creating a data flow. Let me add my airlines dataset. Next, let me apply uh, add the apply model step that we are already familiar with from our earlier releases. Now in the list of models, I see all the models natively trained within OAC as well as external models registered. Source here indicates the if the model is native or external. One thing to note here, you could have registered ML models from more than one database connection, but the ones listed here are only those ML models that source from the same connection as your input dataset. Now this is the model I just registered, so let me select it to score my dataset. There are output columns from the model, so there's prediction, probability, cost and prediction details. In the input section, it has auto mapped the input columns to the model columns. So the model is trained on these columns and we are mapping it to these columns from the input data set. We can change the mapping if we want, but I'll go with the defaults here and save this data set. Now, like in any regular data flows, you could add different steps before or after the apply model, but I'm going to keep it simple. I'll name this data set. The connection for the output data set is automatically set to the input data set connection. This is because the entire operation of scoring the data set is going to happen in the underlying database and the output data set is also going to be created in the underlying database and thereby no data movement happens. If we notice the columns here, in addition to the input columns, all the predicted columns from the ML model are added to the output data set. Let me save and run this data flow. When the data flow is executed, the complete scoring operation is function shipped to the database. The SQL generated uses the prediction functions of the database, calls the ML model and scores the input dataset. All these operations happen in the database and no data is being fetched into PI server. Let's look at the SQL that is sent to the database behind the scenes. We see that it calls the prediction function in the database, invokes the trained ML model, and the whole scoring operation happens in the database, thereby leveraging the power of the database. Coming back, once the data flow executes successfully, we have a data set created pointing to the output table along with the predicted columns. So I have these predicted columns. Let me look at the prediction. So the model predicted three possible risk buckets for delay, delay below zero minutes, delay between 1 and 30 minutes and delay over 30 minutes. Now let me see how many flights we have in each of these buckets. Okay, so most of my flights are predicted to arrive on time, but we have a few flights which may be delayed. Now I can dig deeper and see what are the carriers that fall into the risk bucket of delay. 
we see that about 64 flights from SkyWay, SkyWest Airlines are likely to be delayed beyond 30 minutes. About 350 flights from Southwest could be delayed up to 30 minutes. This is very useful information to me as a business user that enables me to take some corrective action. Hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.